Hello and welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily. I'm Aaron Porras. And before we begin, we want to remind you again that for more of the best content from Israel, sign up today for our streaming platform, ILTV+. Now, coming up in today's newscast, Israel reportedly striking Iranian targets in Syria again. Meantime, world powers in Vienna suggesting that nuclear talks with Iran are nearing an end. And finally, no more rules. The health ministry recommending that nearly all COVID-19 restrictions be lifted. Our opening story tonight, Israel reportedly attacking targets in Syria again. Syrian state media alleging that Israel launched a volley of surface-to-surface -surface missiles from the Golan Heights, and supposedly the targets, including a Syrian military base just south of Damascus, which was being used by Iran-affiliated forces. Only property damage is recorded, though, and as of yet, there have been no human casualties. Now, meantime, while Israel supposedly striking Iranian affiliates in Syria, Iranian affiliates in Lebanon, Hezbollah, issuing fresh threats against Jerusalem. Speaking Wednesday on the anniversary of the assassination of Hezbollah's former secretary general, the terror group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, bragging about their advanced precision missile development and drone capabilities. Further, Nasrallah downplaying Israel's efforts to block Hezbollah's progress, saying that Israel's, quote, war between wars has led to excellent results for Hezbollah. In any case, joining me now to discuss is Dr. Fadi Ismail, fellow at the International Institute for Counterterrorism at Reichman University. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us again. Now, how much of this uh, from Hezbollah is news to Israel? Thank you so much for having me. And of course, uh, none of it is really news. Um, on every aspect that he spoke, we, ha we, are, we have been watching pretty closely for the last few years. Uh, but it is always a um, cool and a happy occasion to see our good friend Hassan Nasrallah coming up on television and giving us this regular show. Um, there's always a, a combination of, um, of grandstanding, of uh, things that he says that uh, basically uh, uh, confirm things that we already know. Mm -hmm. There's also a little bit of comedy sometimes in what he says. I mean, it's an event for people in our field. It's actually an event to sit down and look and watch him. Uh, he talked about things we know. We know about the drones, um, uh, that they build the drones, and, and he even uh, offers to sell to anybody who wants to right. buy. We know that uh, about the project to increase the precision of missiles. Yeah. Uh, Israel has been uh, facing that threat for years now and has been doing so much to, to block that possibility. He claims that he already has the ability Okay. Uh, there's a lot of what he says is taunting, is uh, trying to get under the skin. Um, you know, it's, um, I, I wouldn't even take it, make it past possible that there are also some hidden message in what he says, maybe to people listening to him elsewhere, maybe even here in the country. Uh, he talked about his, uh, the, uh, their access to air defenses against Israeli drones. He says that yeah. now they can do that. And he says that they are so good at it that Israel now is forced to use uh, more uh, agents on the ground because, according to what he says, uh, Israel is not able to use its drones as effectively as it did in the past. Uh, uh, um, well, and there's also the regular... Uh, sorry. Well, so, I, I mean, I wanted sorry, to go back to actually something that, that Nasala said that really was sticking with me, and you touched upon it, uh, and that... That, that's something about how, you know, anyone who wants to buy drones or precision missiles just needs to submit an order, like an Amazon, but for terror. You know, who, who's buying these drones from Hezbollah or these missiles? Uh, and, and you mentioned that Israel has been working to prevent such action, such sales, such advancement from Hezbollah's uh, angle. So, again, who's buying who, uh, these drones from Hezbollah, and what is Israel doing to prevent it? Specifically, if I remember correctly, the offer to sell came mostly on the drones, as far as I recall. Sure. And uh, anybody in the Middle East today that wants to cause trouble needs, needs that 
arm to develop. It could be Hamas in, the, uh, in, in Gaza, it could be other, other entities. Um, I think it's more of a, a lot of show off, a lot of uh, uh, reminding everybody that, he's still, that he is still there. Uh, many things happening around us in the Middle East that he doesn't enjoy. To watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.